Hey everyone, welcome back to the final video for 2021. Here we go back to October for a CSCS Pumpkin Fest finale at Grand Bend Motorplex. Now for the time attack people, this is just an open lapping event. But of course, I'm here today uh, trying to beat my previous lap time of a 58.9. Now today, the weather is definitely better than it was last year and the track is much drier. Although it, there was some rain, most of it was clearing up as we kept laughing. Now from last year to this year, I haven't made much changes on the car other than adding a lot of tape to the front end and of course my suspension. And the first thing I did notice with this new suspension is that on the back straight is much more wavy and bumpier than it should have been. Um, I probably could have made it a little less uh, stiff on the dampening but of course the rest of the track it felt amazing there was one dip at the final turn or the final corner before you end the lap uh, this was very tough to deal with actually me and a ref who drives in the Audi S4 ahead of me we actually walked out to the track when they closed it for the drifting and we just had a look at it to try to figure out what the best line would be to take there. Uh, it was a good walk, we actually walked more than half the track. So we were able to see where there was more standing water and of course the better line and better breaking point to use. Now with the ref in front of me, uh, you can sort of see him there ahead making the final right hander. Uh, before the left corner which has the dip that I was mentioning before uh, we'll just have a quick look at just how aggressive that dip is it might not look like it on video but that dip can pretty much send you airborne and off the track once you land. It's already happened to two cars. It's happened to, uh, I think, a few people last year, where of course we all know that one person ended up running straight into a trailer. Now here we are trying to follow a ref through this lap uh, a bit of traffic but nothing that's going to really affect the lap time my goal here is to try to draft on a ref as he's cutting through the air in front of me just to go around this last Civic here. I don't think he affected our overall lap time too much, but of course this is going to affect the lap after. But if you have a look at my time, it was a 58.8, which means I'm already one tenth faster than my previous lap time. Of course, that lap was compromised by that Civic on the first turn. So I just skipped to the lap after that, where once again, I'm following a ref trying to use him cut that air in front of me and hopefully make my lap time faster but then I started to realize that as we come towards the end of the lap although both of our cars have a very similar lap time around this track I feel that he's much stronger driver in the beginning of the lap and I'm much stronger at finishing the lap and that's the point where I felt he may have been holding me up a bit I still managed to now do a 58.7 which means I'm two tenths faster than my previous fastest lap, of course. Still optimistic about setting a faster time. So what I decided to do was set a gap between me and the ref. I took a nice cool down lap, that way I can try for an open clean lap, no draft. And I know that there will be no one in between us because, of course, I'm separating the two cars. As you saw there, that cool down lap was a 108, so about 10 seconds slower, taking my time. Uh, just making sure that this final lap is going to be a flyer. You can see that my gas light is on, so for sure the car is at pretty light state right now as we head down the back straight. see 
this car wave up and down the suspension a bit too stiff here let's approach the final right hander into that dip hard dip definitely hit hard there making the final turn for a 56.7 that puts me more than two seconds faster than I was last year which is obviously great after having after not beating my time at TMP this was some good news great way to end off the year and of course I'll be looking forward to building this car over winter just correcting that vibration that I still had today but it wasn't as bad and I'll be looking forward to updating you guys very soon on what's going to be happening with the TSX uh, enjoy your new year and I'll see you guys next year